We saw a beautiful, whimsical piece of art earlier. Now Karen is back with another interesting art st installation, like a few of them. <laughs> Gorgeous yes. pieces of art. This is fun because often when we think about art, we think about frame pieces or we think about big canvases. And we probably grew up with, you know, the sofa and the one big piece of art over the sofa. Yes. And so nowadays we're having way more fun as we're doing dimensional art. Mm. So the cool thing about dimensional art is obviously this is beautiful and you can hang it multiple ways, but the shadows actually become part of the art. Ah. And you can imagine that if you had a light, imagine a light right overhead, what's gonna happen to those shadows? They're gonna become so dramatic. Yes. So the negative space is actually part of the drama and part of the art. Beautiful. This one here is actually called Wild Oscar. Okay. And the artist actually took photos of Oscar Wilde's gravestone in Paris yeah. and then took little samples and made these you know, little silos with, and then you can hang it multiple ways. Oh, that's so, so cool. she, she works with, you know, plastic people, CNC people, different welders, so that she can put this together. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to show a couple different photos of how yes. this can how this can be hung. Okay, so, so you actually get to choose how you want this to look. Look at that up a stairwell, and it's all about the installation. It is. So this one is the exact same, but you can hang it different ways. This one's a cool. tight grid, so it's very structured. Yeah. So if you had a very modern decor, this would be perfect. Yeah. And then, you know, you can always hang it a much more grid, a little bit looser, so it actually can be a little bit more casual. And uh, Samantha Sandbrook's actually in the uh, audience today, so our artist. Hi, she is Sarah. the artist. Hi. Oh my gosh, yes, your pieces are you. beautiful. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Very nice. Yes. So modest over there. <laughs> gorgeous. Okay, what else did you bring? So then, you know, yes, we can actually hang it on the wall as, as a piece of art, but they don't have to be square, rectangular. Yeah. We can actually have some fun with some shapes. So, you know, the I still love you and still, so I mean, I don't know if you can see this, if the camera can pick it up, but still is actually written twice. Yes. So you get this dimensionality mentality to it so that you can get this you know so what does that mean is that I still love you we had a fight I still love you you've left the home my children but I still love you yes. or you still love an old flame like all these meanings so it's very interesting uh-huh I still love you old flame <laughs> <laughs> and then this one here is I just love this one it is so beautiful and I'm going to show you the most amazing photo yeah. so what I always say to clients because they'll say oh sh what should I buy for art over my fireplace and what about this over here and you can see what's happened here is that we've actually leaned it in the stairwell so you can actually put art in unconventional places. So don't don't go buy a piece because you think you need a piece over your, your fireplace. Mm -hmm. Go buy a piece you love because yes. you'll always find a spot for it in your home. And it doesn't have to be in the traditional way we think. I think that is beautiful. When I saw that picture and just that moment of art, that's something that's going to make you smile every single day when you walk down your stairs. You know what? And the nice thing about it is you can move it. Yes. And so what I tend to do in my home is, you know, because I don't have a very big home, but I have a yeah. lot of art. Right. So I find that I move art around my house all the time, and I love it because a friend will come over and they'll walk in the house. They're like, oh, Karen, I love your new piece of art. And I'm like, ha, ha, ha. It's just all <laughs> it's I've done. Old. It's old. It was in the kitchen. Old thing. Ha, ha. Yeah. yeah. That's I just great. move it around so it gets new life, and I get to enjoy it in a different way. That's right. Because you wake up in the morning, you come out, and you see a piece. It might be nice to change that up. That's right. And so, art should be enjoyed, right? Exactly. Okay, so what do we have here? So the other thing that's interesting about sculptural art or yes. dimensional art, and I'm going to hold these ones up here. This is from the Rondell Collection, and these are inspired by 1950s Regency Hollywood style. Beautiful. And these you can put you know, on a table. You can put them on a console in the front hall. Yes. You can put them anywhere, and because they are so beautiful, you can actually enjoy them from all sides, yes, which is amazing, right? We have a beautiful picture actually showing uh, a similar piece of art just all the way down a table. And this you will never need a centerpiece again. This is gorgeous, and, and it's nice to you can see as a collection, putting them all yeah. together, and it's actually inspired by a telescope. And oh, you can kind of cool. see, isn't that cool? I love that. So speaking of telescopes and water and sailing, yes. is that a thing of telescopes? I think of sailing. Yes. Um, this is the porthole, and it's pretty heavy, so I'm not gonna hold up, but we do have a yeah. picture of it. And I actually, um, when I first looked at it, I'm like, that porthole looks like that ship's going down. Because <laughs> I don't even see You're how underwater. blue it is. Uh, it's a bad day at sea, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> but it's beautiful. And you could do different sizes, different colors. So have some fun with it. Again, I think clients have a tough time with stairwells. Yes. It's like, do I do one piece? Do I stagger a piece? Do I hang a big tapestry on the landing? So mm -hmm. These are perfect for so, that. And I just want to mention quickly, just the at console. the front, this is just Isn't gorgeous. It beautiful? And so this is the Imagine console. So you can actually put it in the front hall, and you can have you could actually use this piece. Yes. So sculptural and useful. Yeah, absolutely.